Hello everyone, welcome back to Tropical Desert Gaming, and today I'm back with more Minecraft, and today, um, yeah, a well, as you may notice, um, I'm on a different, um, resource pack today, yeah, and this is the School Safari resource pack, and that's because today I'm playing a map called Safari World, so, yeah, um, this is, um, I, I, I saw this and, uh, I thought I'd give it a try, you know? Yeah, anyway, this is basic. Yeah, this is um a map uh, and I'll, yeah, this is a map that I'm going to be playing today and yeah, so yeah. Before we get started, if you guys do enjoy this and you want me to do more like this, make sure to let me know by hitting the like button down below. Also, hitting the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. You guys are all amazing. Also, after hitting that subscribe button, go and hit the bell next to it so that you'll be notified whenever I post new videos like this. And also, um, if you guys are interested in, also, um, yeah, here's the comment of the day right here on the screen right now. And if you guys are interested in getting com in winning comment of the day, um, make sure to leave a comment down below for your chance to get that shout out. And uh, anyway, um. Yeah, let's let's get into the map. So, um looks like we have a looks like um skip tutorial, start tutorial. You know what? I actually want to do the tutorial. Hi there. As a part of your safari experience, I would love you to take pictures of all the species of animals. Uh out there to do to do this you will be given your own camera that you can place anywhere to take a photo uh, of the closest animal in front of it when you would like to take a photo place the camera item on the ground simply interact with the camera and then snap pop your picture is now ready for you to pick up off the floor again. To get your camera back ready, to move on, give it a punch, and pick it up again. Also dotted around the park, you'll find handy little audio guides. Most animals in our safari have their own audio guide which will tell you all about them now i think it is um wait a second oh sorry so make sure you find and listen to them all to get um to get the most out of your safari experience now i think it is time it is time you have yourself a little practice Move on to the next room and play around with the camera I just gave you. Once you've taken your first photo, go ahead and click the button to begin your own safari adventure. Oh. Okay, I see. Um, This room seems a little small for an elephant, kind of, but, um... Did that... Ooh. Ooh, something turned out. <laughs> that, um, didn't really work, though. Uh, let's, you know what, let's see. Can we get a better angle, maybe? Oh. Nope, it's still the same photo. Okay. Uh, so I guess just wanted me to take one picture. Okay, that's right. I understood. Wow. Wow, look at all of these. Look at these animals. Look at that. We got a lion. That looks like a leopard, maybe, or a cheetah. We got an oryx. We got um, a wild dog. Let's, uh, let's see the map, actually. I can look at all this. Um, cookie, ladder, orange boat. Just wish I had a, you know what? Just, just um, move on. Oh, there's little gaps in the steps there. 
Welcome to Safari World by Cyclone Designs. All right. Shout out to the map creator then. Do I hop in the? Whoa! I drive. I'm driving. Hold on. What is on the front of this? Uh, just a tiger or something? It's kind of a tiger. But, um... Should, um... Alright. Go up here. Oh! That's a rhino. Alright. Oh god, this rhino's coming dangerously close. You know what? I'm... Okay, there we go. Sorry, you know, um... I'm used to always being told, like, um... Keep your distance from any wildlife, any wild animals you find. Which is good advice, good general advice. Because you never know when they might, you might accidentally tick them off. And they could, um, wait a second. Where, is this off the trail? No, oh no, this is on the trail. Just need to remember to follow the trail. You know what, do I really need this vehicle? I can just walk around to... I think it's on peaceful, so I won't lose hunger. Is it peaceful? It is easy. Ah, so I might lose hunger. It might have un hunger. Okay, this is the, uh, uh, I can't remember what it said now. Have anything to say from, uh, okay, that's a trash can. Oh, it's a recycling bin, actually. That's cool. Us. Oh, and here's the map. So, uh, this is where I am. Right now. Okay. What's this? Oh, the audio guide transcript. Okay. Oh, look at this. Bearded vulture. Blue whale. Cassowary. Dugong. Oh, cool. Florida panther. Oh, awesome. Giant anteater. Ground Hornbill, Guam Kingfisher, Horseshoe Crab, that sounds cool. Iberian Ink, Iberian Lynx, cool. King Cheetah, never heard of a King Cheetah, but I've heard of a Cheetah. A Cockapo, oh my god. That, that, Cockapos are interesting animals. I, I don't know if you've, I don't, you guys watching this, I don't know if you've, You've probably never heard of a cockapo, but it is a weird animal. Um, Luristan Newt. Never heard of that. Um, like, like, uh, like, 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 uh, on. Never heard of that. Malayan tapir. I've heard of that, though. Marine iguana. Oh, those are the ones from the Galapagos Islands. Um, Mark, Mark, or... Don't think I've heard of that. Oh, copy. Oh, those are awesome looking animals. Kiwi. Oh, those are cool too. Orangutan. Pangolin. Oh, those are cool. Platypus. Rhinoceros. La. Sawfish. Um, oh, there's the Oryx. Ooh, secretary bird. Those are cool. Uh, the sloth. Tree kangaroo. And uh, that. Is this, it's not an audio guide. It's not an audio guide. Well, whatever, I guess, um. Okay, this, um. So this is a picture, so this is the Sumatran rhinoceros that I got a picture of. Ah, uh, it's the pygmy rhino. That kind of makes sense, its size. Oh, this is... So that's Information Center. Yeah. Makes sense. It's where I got these... Oh, what is that? I need to get a picture of that. 
Did I get it? I got empty. Oh, man. Yeah. I tried, but I can't I can't go close to the wildlife. Oh, actually that might be the pangolin. That it this is the pangolin. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's doesn't quite look how I expected it to, though. Um, yeah. You guys have never seen a pangolin. You guys have, you guys watching this. I don't know if you've ever heard of a, or seen a pangolin, but they're, they're, they're interesting animals. You should look them up. Anyway, um, we should um. Oh God, I'm never gonna keep all these photos you know what let's actually see some pangolin facts where's the pangolin guide okay right here pangolins also known as scaly anteaters belong to the manidae family there are three different pangolin groups underneath the pangolin titles manis fa fad fatan Vataginus and uh, and mu mu mutia These can be found in Asia and Africa, respectively. Some pangolin species are already known to be extinct, and the current surviving families are threatened by poaching, deforestation, and animal trafficking. Oh God. I don't think I knew that. Mmm, that's interesting. Well, um, either way, I guess we, um, where could I put this? What's in here? Oh, cookies. Okay, well, um, I guess I could put that back in there for now. I could take some of these cookies. Um, you know what? Maybe let's look at some rhino facts. All right, the family rhinos rhinoceraotid includes the rare Sumatran rhinoceros. This Asian two-horned rhinoceros is classified as a species type of D. Sumatranus. Fewer than 800 Sumatran rhinos now remain across the globe and is recognized as being critically endangered in 2008. Critically endangered. In 2008, there were estimated to be around 250 in existence, but it's thought poaching has now more than halved that amount since. It is typically ha hunted for its horns, said to be worth as high as 30,000 United States dollars per kilogram. Used, these rhinos do not thrive outside of their own ecosystem, so it is vital that they are protected in the wild environment instead of in captivity mm. Mm. wow well you know what I, sh I probably I don't think I need all those cookies just um anyway um what is it saying see the wall for animals you can find nearby oh I see. So this um. So this is um. Species found. Uh. Wait, is it raining? Don't forget to pick up some food for the animals. Oh, it's food for the animals. Uh. Insects. Uh, I don't really. You know what? I I'm. I'm not supposed to feed wild animals, man. I, I'm putting those back. Uh, 
what is this? Uh, make sure to hold a protector, um, protector spray when approaching predators. Remember to take lots of pictures. Protector spray. Oh. Oh, I see. It's like bear spray. There we go. You can tempt animals with their favorite foods. Nah, nah, sorry, man. Not supposed to feed wild animals. But, um... Oh, this looks like a nice ride. Whoa, um... I'm going a little fast, though. Is it possible for me to slow down? You know what? I can go on foot. What the heck was that noise? Oh! Uh oh. What are they? Iberian lynx! Oh! Those are lynx. Sorry, uh. Oh. Sorry, guys. Um, you know what? Actually, where is the. the lynx? Let's see, um, holy god, they sound scary, <laughs> but, um, let's see, um, the Iberian Lynx is a member of the cat family, Felidae. Its binormal name is referred to as Lynx Pardini Pardinus. These large cats are found native to the Iberian Peninsula in southwestern Europe. Upon, upon the coming of the 21st century, it was recorded that only about a hundred individuals were left. How, however, by 2012, the population had increased to 326 recorded individuals. Due to improved habitat conditions, food, translocation, and reintroduction. Ah, oh, that's good. Their numbers are rebounding. Alright, well, um, guess toss that, because, um, I also need my camera. You guys hostile? Oh, yep, they are. Yep, they are. Oh, I'm holding the spray, god dang it. Okay, you know what? I'm getting out of here. Sorry, cats. Sorry, cats. Continue on with your biz. Yeah, see, that's why you don't approach wild animals. <laughs> that's why you keep your distance from wild animals. <coughs> but anyway, let's across this. Is this a bridge? What's at the bottom? Anything here? Oh! Oh, is this an audio guide? The Southern Cassowary, also known as an Australian Cassowary and Double Water Cassowary, belongs to the Cassowaridae family. This large, flightless bird can be found in Indonesia, New Guinea, and Northeastern Australia. Unfortunately, increased habitat loss, limited range, and hunting of the cassowary have deemed it as an endangerment concern. Approximately 1,500 are left in Australia, as last recorded in 2009. Wow. Don't think I knew that. Uh, is that exactly what it says here? Yeah, that's exactly what it says there, so throw that away then. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, um, guide. Speaking of, where is that cassowary? Oh, there's another guide. I don't like going off the trail, but... Oh! That's an old copy! Did I get it? Nice! Got the photo of the Okapi. Yep. 
Yeah, Okapi are very interesting animals. You should look. You should look them up. Wait a second. What is this? The Guan kingfisher is a species of kingfisher that can be found within the United States territory of Guam. The kingfisher falls under the Elsidinidae family. This unique bird has been classified as extinct in the wild due to predation from the brown tree snake. However, they can still be found in captivity where multiple breeding programs are taking place. Ah, uh, yeah. The island of Guam has been decimated by those snakes. Yeah. But, um, I was actually about to ask if that was a kingfisher. But, yep, I got my answer. That is indeed the kingfisher. Also, I am losing a bit of hunger, actually. You know what? Um, let's see. Um, what else is there to see? I, I don't really like to go off the trail. Could be easy to get lost. And well, normally I wouldn't run on these trails either, but you know, since this is a game, I can do. I can do it, since this is a game, you know. And it's not exactly that accurate. What is? What is that? That is the. That is the monkey. Oh. Is that tree kangaroo right there? Oh god, uh, I need to get rid of, I'll get rid of the boat for now. Is that the tree kangaroo? Sorry, I don't want to go close to you, but I just need, uh, yep, that's the tree kangaroo. I thought so. Sorry, where is the, um, hold on, where's the, the tree kangaroo right here? All right, let's see what this says. The tree kangaroo are a member are a member of the kangaroo family. The mac the macropodidae. Podidae. Uh oh uh, yeah. I heard that macropod Bigfoot. Yeah. These species are associated are are assigned to the genus Dendrologus. They live in the rainforests of Papua New Guinea, far northeastern Australia. To Total numbers are decreasing due to habitat destruction and human hunting. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. One of these, which thought to, which thought to have been ex to uh, to be extinct has been found photographed for the first time in 2018. Oh, that's cool. All right. Um Now where's the uh the monkey one? The monkey one right there. I wonder what that is. Oh wait, what? Where? Wait, wait a second. Oh my God. Uh, where is the monkey? There it is. Oh my God. Oh, oh, that's the rhino again. The roll, the rollaway monkey is. Uh, I've never heard of that species actually is a member of the old world monkey family uh yeah old world monkeys from uh, asia and africa the the circopithecid sorry i don't know these uh, scientific names its scientific name is uh circopithecus rollaway they live in the rainforests of Ghana, 
of Ghana Cote d'Ivory d'Ivory in Africa I'm sorry I don't know how to pronounce that estimated population in Ghana is below 1,000 individuals and overall numbers are decreasing due to deforestation and human hunting Wow guess we're really um learning about about how in about the environmental impact huh what kind of bird is that what kind of bird was that where are you come back here what is this this is oh that's the kakapo wow yeah I I didn't expect the cockabo to be that small it's it's normally one of the biggest birds I, I mean it's normally a well I mean it's not the biggest but it's normally a pretty big bird where is um the cockabo um let's look up cockabo facts where is co cockabo right there Oh, I dropped my camera in the water. <laughs> oh wait, uh, g give me that. There we go. Um, let's see. The cockapo, also known as the owl parrot, belongs to the Strigopidae family. Its binormal name is Strigo Strigopus Strigops habraptilis. This bird is a nocturnal ground-dwelling parrot that cannot fly. It is unique to New Zealand and is currently considered critically endangered. Oh, they forgot the E there. With only 148 living individuals recorded in 2018. The reasoning behind population decrease of the kakapo is related to the introduction of predators such as cats, rats, ferrets, and stoats. Stoats, which are weasels, by the way. Conservation to save these birds began in the 1890s, but saw little success until 1995 with the start of the Kakapo Recovery Program. Wow, so Kakapos aren't... So Kakapos are doing... Are really struggling, huh? Sp By the way, what are the those? Are those the kingfishers? Can I get pictures of those? Empty. Ah, oh, dang you! Wait, there? I got you now. Empty. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, that's strange. Oh, is this? The kakapo, also known as the owl parrot, belongs to the Strigopidae family. Its binominal name is Strigops hebroptilis. This bird is a nocturnal, ground-dwelling parrot that cannot fly. It is unique to New Zealand and is currently considered critically endangered, with only 148 living individuals recorded in 2018. The reasoning behind population decrease of the kakapo is related to the introduction of predators such as cats, rats, ferrets, and stoats. Conservation to save these birds began in the 1890s, but saw little success until 1995 with the start of the kakapo recovery program. Yeah, stoats, which are weasels, by the way, in case you don't know. Hey. Also, oh god, am, am I off the trail? Oh, oh, there's another, um, oh, it's a gorilla. The Tapanuli orangutan is a member of the hominidae family and are known as great apes or hominids. This particular orangutan is found in South Tapanuli in the island of Sumatra within Indonesia. It is thought that they are exclusively arboreal of meaning that their habitats are in trees and do not descend from the branches. In over 3,000 years of observation, scientists have never seen them on the ground. 
It is likely that they fear predatorial Sumatran tigers in the area. Sumatran tigers? Well, they no longer exist. Oh, uh, wait. Actually, no, they do exist. What am I saying? They, they're, they're still alive. They're just, um, they're just endangered, like uh, orangutans. Anyway, well, there's the orangutans. Um, all right, throw away that guide. Oh, there's the orangutan. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Come back here, elusive ape. There we go. Anyway, uh, excuse me, I just gotta get by. Um. Is this am I on am I still on the trail? Hello everyone. Uh yeah, um a little thing to tell you. Like um this is um yeah, this is me from later in that video. Um and uh I I'm telling you now, like what you were what you just saw was part one to the um part one to this um to this map that will take multiple ep that We'll take multiple episodes. Like, yeah, the recording for the um recording for the first few parts went took so the recording went so long I had to split it into a few different par a few different parts. So um, what you just saw was one of those parts. So um, yeah, st so yeah, stay tuned for the next part coming soon. Um. That's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to let me know by hitting the like button down below. Also, by hitting that subscribe button down below if you guys uh, haven't already. I would really appreciate new subscribers. You guys are all amazing. And I'm almost at 800, so keep it up. And also, after hitting that subscribe button, go and hit the bell next to it so that you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. And make sure to leave a comment down below for your chance to get a shout out for comment of the day. And anyways guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And um, welcome back to Tropical Desert Gaming and I'll see you guys next time. Adios!